All right, team. Hey, how's it going? It's Monday, start of a new week, work week. I guess yesterday was the actual week start, but it's the start. Move this. Start of a new work week, um, December 12th. It's currently 8.07 a.m., so the very start of my Stitch Fix work day. I just wanted to take a minute and make my to-do list with you today so we can figure out what we're doing and maybe think about the week as a whole as well and um, plan it out a little bit. We've only got a couple weeks till Christmas, so... Yeah, literally one week. Basically, two weeks until Christmas. I don't know when my brother and his girlfriend will be arriving, arriving, arriving in town. So I want to get everything done a few days, at least a few days earlier. Then I might make some cookies to help out my mom who's making a bunch of food. I make something right to help out, add to the dinner, some kind. All right, let's get to it here. Monday, December 12th. Uh, I just want to do a little celebration of myself. <laughs> I've done one full week of Vlogmas, applause, yeah! of editing, blogging, uploading every day. Um, I've also been uploading to Instagram consistently every day for at least three or four weeks now. So that's crazy impressive for me. I'm impressed with myself. Yeah, I'll toot that horn. Um, so yeah, a little win for me there. <laughs> Though I will say Instagram idea or Instagram um, strategy update. I have been for these last three to four weeks, I've been posting just every day at 8 a.m. because it's pretty easy for me to do that. It just helps, like I'm, I think I've said this before, I'm pretty productive in the mornings and um, it's been easy for me to like do a short little turnaround video, edit it super quick, and then set my phone down while I start my work day just before. So like post it just a couple minutes before eight and let it go. And that's been doing all right. Um, I've had some really good videos that like popped off. and I've had some that have done nothing, which I think I've said on here before. But over the weekend, because um, I've noticed my weekends posting at 8 a.m., really they, all, they have all flopped in my definition of flop. Um, so I decided to do what everyone says and look at my insights and see what time of day people are on. And um, Saturday I posted at 9 a.m. I actually posted at 8 a.m. and the same video again at 9 a.m. My 8 a.m. video only got 100 views while my 9 a.m. video got 12,000 views. So that was a heck of an increase already though i think the most popular time of day on saturday wasn't until noon so after looking at that i went and on sunday i posted at noon um and it got twenty two thousand views which i've had twenty two thousand views on an 8 a.m post as well so it could just be coincidental um because now after looking at my insights for all of the days basically the high time for each day is noon for me um, this is not for everybody, but for me, it's noon. Um, so I'm going to try posting at noon today instead of the normal 8 a.m. I've already passed that threshold, right? So I'm also curious, like, I don't know if there would be like a lag because my consistency is now weird. I don't know if that's how it works or not. Um, but I'm going to post at noon today. And I will let you know how it goes. And I've specifically found some audios that I know are trending upward. So hopefully that helps as well. 
don't know. We'll see. I'll let you know how, how it goes when I post it later. Um, okay, let me just show you my to-do list while I make it instead of me continually to talk to you. And then um, maybe I'll voice over it or something, but let's do that. So for some reason, this clip onward, my microphone stopped recording, so it didn't capture any of the audio from this clip or the next ones until the end of the video that I'm talking in. Thankfully, there's only a few. The downfall of that is that I don't quite know what I was saying to you. <laughs> I know for a fact that I was just letting you know that I was done working at Stitch Fix I was pouring that coffee into that pretty little carafe there that I got from my grandma so that I could have cold iced coffee tomorrow. And I was making hot coffee against my better judgment because I wanted to work late into the night tonight. And basically, I think I drown on there for a little bit on uh, whether or not I should, even though I was pretty positive that I was going to do it anyway. Um, Sage and I were also going to go on a bike ride just after this and um, to get some of her energy out. I got some of her mental energy out earlier during our little training sesh with some leftover steak bites that I was giving her. She was loving them. She will do anything for food. <laughs> Very food motivated. Um, yeah, what else? I'm not even on the screen right now. I don't even know what's happening. My plan for the night after this was to do some casual sketching like I'd done in the last couple of vlogs. Um, so I do think I explained that to you. So in the next clip, you'll see me sketch in over on my desk some from some references in my iPad. 
And then I worked in the into the evening on the two presents for my parents. So the portrait of my grandparents, my dad. gonna refilm my last little chat through of the work I did this evening since my microphone died and then as I tried to do that well I did that voiceover for that other section which you saw um, but the microphone died in the middle of that as well so we are refilming this because I'd like to show you the finished looks of what happened. Look at this light. Should I turn it that way? That's a little bit better. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so for my parents' presents, I did their parents' portraits. So this is my grandma and grandpa. This is my dad's parents. And um, I think it turned out pretty good. My grandpa looks spot on. My grandma, her face shape isn't quite right. Um, and just like that dog I did a few days ago, I'm gonna go back in with their eyes and make sure that they have the white spot twinkle that they need to be nice and twinkly. Um, but again, back to my grandma's face, it's just if I would have knock on so dark here, I would have kept it more of a angle and then not had her chin pop out so much like this it would have been perfect however i went straight in with ink and uh so there was no going back and that's just how it works you know that's how it works and then this is my mom's parents look how cute they look i initially was like oh uh, nana she isn't looking quite right and then as i stepped back and pulled it away from the projected image of them I actually think she looks great and I think my papa looks great too, but I, I think they look a little younger than the photo, which I don't think they'll be mad about because I'm sure they'll see it. But ultimately I'm happy with how they both came out. And then I figure I'd show you the, um, I forgot to wash my brushes earlier. I hope I don't ruin them. Um, if you can see the little sketch I did earlier. Really rough, it's hard to see. But it was just with a very light, fine pencil. But that is all the artwork that I worked on today. Sorry, that was probably a loud clap. 
And um, so just wanted to say thanks for watching. I appreciate the view. Subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I post every day since it's not the same time during these daily vlogs. The HD processing takes so long and I underestimate it every time. So I'm gonna really try not to rush that in the next few days. So hit the bell so that you know when the next daily vlog is up for the rest of December. And um, then hit up my other places. Patreon would be grand for you to hit up, you know, that'll help a ton. You can hit up my online shop for any Christmas presents. You can just go over to my Instagram, um, you know, just to join the party over there. I do a lot of reels as we've talked about. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow.